Chicago native, Mark DiCarlo has done a little bit of everything. Uh, comedy, <laughs> acting, TV hosting. You remember him from... Uh, well, you're also the voice of Jimmy Neutron, right? I'm the, Jimmy's dad. Jimmy's dad. Hugh Neutron. Hugh, okay. Hugh the Neutron. most befuddled guy on the show. <laughs> yes, that's me. We're and my wife, yes? Megan Cavanaugh, also yep. from Second City in Chicago. Unbelievable. You've been on Seinfeld. You've been... I remember uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I mean, wow. We can go through the whole list here. You're semi-stock in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you're in town, uh, Mark, and you grew up in uh, Downers Grove. Right? I do. I have that right. But you're back in town to not just visit family, but hosting the, uh, is it the Travel and Adventure Show? Is it that is. what it's called? It's at the uh, Stevens Convention Center this weekend. Is travel, and, are travel and adventure always kind of combined? Does travel have to be enough? adventure? Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, whether you're stuck in O'Hare in a snowstorm or you're uh, eating uh, fried chitlins in uh, Charleston. <laughs> yeah, it should be an adventure, right? If you don't want adventure, stay home. Now, re exactly. You have uh, you've been the host of uh, Taste of America on the uh, Travel Channel, mm -hmm. and you've also written a book called A Fork on the Road: Four Hundred Cities, One Stomach. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. That uh, well, must have been a labor of love. It was. Yeah. You know, for the the Travel Channel show, I got to visit four four hundred different cities, went all over the country, all fifty states, plus Puerto Rico and D.C., and met tons of great people, and ate eighty percent delicious food and twenty percent just. Awful. <laughs> I, Awful. I, read, I read something about And you. coming from Chicago <laughs> to go to, you know, when you're having spaghetti in McAllen, Texas, and the guy comes out and he's so proud because he opened the can of tomato paste really nice and put it. It's like, you have no idea who you're serving here. <laughs> don't my aunts could kill you. Yeah, don't, don't you have some famous sausage recipe in your family? Did I read about that? My yeah, aunt's, yeah. Uh, my Aunt Lena's sausage recipe. Uh, I made a little video and put it on uh, YouTube. Um, they, uh, go taste Rocco sausage. That's their their theme. They used to make it. She still has the little metal thing that you stuff the sausage by hand. It's over 100 years old. Wow. And that's got to be very spicy. I like it. Did you also run into, in the book, by the way, here's the book, Fork on the Road, 400 Cities, One Stomach. You ran into some fish ice cream along the way. Is that true? Up in Alaska, oh, yeah. they have this, um, it's kind of a vestigial food that it used to be made with whale blubber and, and, and oh. uh, some kind of sweetening. Now they make it with Crisco, sugar, Right. Granulated sugar and yeah. a couple of blueberries, and it, it tastes like whale snot. It's awful. <laughs> so we should avoid that one. I would okay. avoid <laughs> skip the, skip now, the I, fish ice cream. Now, I know uh, you're always talking up Chicago, and, yes. and, and you love the sports scene here, and I wondered, uh, you saw what happened Sunday, and, and Jay Cutler, the injury, and all the abuse he's taken. Did you have a, a thought on that? I was actually in L.A. at Joe Montaigne's restaurant. We were all oh. watching it together. And it was like a wake. It was horrible. Here, here's my take on it. Yeah. You're seeing all these people complaining and, and calling Jay Cutler basically a baby because he stopped playing. Right. Most of those guys are sitting on their couch in sweatpants, scratching themselves, right? Yeah, exactly. In my opinion, anyone that's tough enough not only to get to the NFL, but to be a starting quarterback on a team that makes it to the championship game, all he wants to do is play in the Super Bowl. So he had to be really hurt not to play. I play on an ice hockey beer league team in L.A., and a guy broke his foot and played the rest of the game because he wanted to play. Don't you think anyone that right. – to, to be that successful – you're not going to get a hangnail and walk away. No. You, you want to go to the big game. I mean, that's kind of what... It's not the, yeah, it's yeah. the Super Bowl. It's the, hey, by the way, did you realize today's the anniversary, 25th anniversary of Super Bowl 20 Bears over Patriots today, 25 years ago? Wait, the, the Bears won this? They won, yeah. 46-10. Really? to Don't you remember this game? It was 42-10. to 10. 42. Wasn't it? You've changed it. 46, I believe. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. I was at. Yeah. Uh, I was drinking beer and eating pizza in L.A. with a bunch of other uh, people. <laughs> yeah, that was, a great, that was a great game. There's a pattern developing. <laughs> 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 Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, Mark DiCarlo, pride and joy of Downers Grove. And here you have the specifics. Go out and say hi to Mark this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont.